Good morning, good morning everyone. So um, Ed Monkey was here again and uh, greetings from Ghana. Th this is uh, day 11, I think. Yeah, we started last week. Day 11 of the quarantine season and everybody, I believe, I think around the globe, everyone is home. People are staying inside and those who are going out are keeping themselves um, safe, I mean, from COVID-19. And we are believing God to take us through this phase. The, the earth is battling and God is also telling us something that I, I, I think, he, you know, deep within my spirit, I believe this is a season where people need to reflect on themselves and and see where they are with their walk with God. You know, this is your time for you to, to see whether you are in there or not. So um, it's a good thing and it's not a good thing. I, I, I don't know, but whichever way, whichever way it is, please hold on, you know. Just stir up your faith. Keep praying. Keep believing God. Because in Psalm 91, I think Psalm 91 has become um, one of the chapters where people are clinging on to. A lot of people are quoting Psalm 91. Psalm 91 simply says that, you know, he says he's going to give his angel charge over us. And then we will not fear the terror by night, you know. And he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. All those things are there to, to keep us alive and keep us going. This is where we need to stir up our faith. We need to pray more as a family, as, um, as, as a body of Christ. And I know for sure that victory is ahead. But hey, you know, as we are staying home, this is what I want to also share. Uh, was it last night? Last night I chanced on something on Facebook and it was talking about... What's God? It was talking about if, if you speak in tongues, yeah, you can't, you can't live in sin. It was just simply saying that if you speak in tongues, you, you cannot live in sin. Well, for me, it struck me, honestly, throughout the night, I was thinking about it. I was like, ah, well, it could be true, but not entirely true. You know why? Because I, I and here, listen, here we're talking about general sin. You know, people, nowadays, when you say sin, everybody thinks about sexual sin, pornography and all that. But no, no, I'll, I'll actually take time and talk about that some other time. But listen, sin is sin whether big or small and i just want to generalize all of it so the the quote was saying the post actually was saying that if if you speak in tongues you you cannot live in sin and then i have a problem with that i just wanted to share my mind i don't know what you think but whatever you also think please put it in there in the comments below let's let's have a conversation around it but this is what i was thinking um it's not it's not really true not entirely and because listen as a minister I, I, I use myself always as an example and I reflect on my life every time and I, I, I feel it's a good thing for me to do because first I acknowledge that I am man. There is always and there is always going to be an interplay between your flesh and the spirit regardless of who you are. The flesh is, is the biggest limitation of, of humanity and the earlier we accepted it, the better, you see. So once you are in a place where you acknowledge that first you are man, means that you are prone to fall but the only thing that exonerates you from falling is that spirit man which is kept alive through prayer you know so and there there is a connectivity there but it's not entirely true that oh the more i blow in tongues it means i'm never going to fall because listen in matthew chapter 4 that's where even jesus had gone to fast for 40 days or had gone to fast and that is when satan thought it was to go test the man it was like if you are the son of god uh, turn this rock into bread and all that satan even didn't fear the, the fasting and prayer jesus had done he just went in there so how much more we who are mortal beings and and are trying to be like him and and growing daily that is where uh, it, it takes me to this place that you know the moment you appreciate the fact that you are man it is easier for you to rise up. Remember that this life we are living is a battle. Every day we fight. Every day the enemy wants somebody down. The enemy's work is to make sure that you fall. Because he knows that the moment your mind is fixed on Christ, it's very difficult to distract you if you are so much in the world and you are praying and you are engaged in the things of God. So that is what he wants to take you away from. Because he has to distract your mind and you can't pray. Little thing, you are just giving up. But remember that we are warriors. It doesn't mean that you will not fall. Sometimes you would win. Sometimes you would fall. You would lose. And it's okay to lose. But what you do after your loss 
it's the paramount is the most important thing that we 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 have to look at you know so the, the, yeah the main thing was talking about um if you speak in tongues you cannot live in sin but like i've explained to you we are on a battlefield the enemy is not stopping now he he's never gonna stop because you you haven't died you know and another thing that always comes in mind i tell i tell people that i come in contact with this once god has not killed me there is no way that he's done with me so even when i fall even when i i slip because there are times where the body the body loves to um entice itself with things of the flesh and when we say things of the flesh your eyes are opened your mouth are opened your ears are opened so a lot of things are are still fighting and pushing back the word that is within but it's about time that the more of the word that you have in you and the more that you get uh, into prayer, you, you overcome all these things that the flesh would be calling for. So listen, and another thing is, we end up comparing ourselves with things that we see on social media, on, on men's test pages saying, oh, this person is living right. Uh, my dear, they're just showing you what you have to see, you know, and, and that's it. Because nobody, nobody, <clears throat> nobody would tell you how they suffer when they are sleeping. They can only tell you when they wake up and they're going about their duties. That's what they think that you would want to know and want to see. And so they would show you that. But listen, everybody's fighting. The fact that I'm not telling you my fight or my struggle doesn't mean I haven't got anything on my mind. I've got a lot of things. A lot of you also have a lot of things that you're dealing with. And you know, another thing, uh, let me go to this angle where we end up saying, oh, grace is sufficient. Oh, the grace of the Lord will keep me. Those things are very powerful things and we need to keep confessing them. But it shouldn't be a cover up to, to keep wallowing because if, if really you are sick, you need to see a doctor. And again, Jesus said in a parable that he came for those who are sick. I mean, he is the doctor in, in the church. So once you are sick, come see Jesus. At least you know him. Once you tell him, he's not going to tell anybody, you know, you are, you are saved like that. So it's, for me, it's better you, you own up yourself. If you know that you are wallowing, come to Jesus, speak to him, and he's definitely going to listen and give you, give you steps and, gives you, and, and he'll give you that, that room to get better, you know. But I, I beg of you, if you speak in tongues, even, you know, you are less prone because if you're speaking in tongues, I mean prayer, not just speaking for speaking sake, but you're praying. The more you are praying, you are less prone to getting attracted to those things. But it doesn't stop the temptation that it can't so you have to just keep on fighting like i said it's a daily fight so you have to keep fighting you have to keep believing that once you fall the righteous falls and 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 rises up that's what the bible says so if you are falling is is because you are you are the righteousness of god and so I'm, I'm not saying it's okay to fall all right but i just want you to be conscious of yourself that there is room for improvement the moment you fall you rise up and you fight because once you are not dead he's not done with you and there is room to come back to where you were. So I beg of you, please, don't, don't fall for it, all right? Don't, don't feel that you are so far away. The hand of the Lord is not so far away to save. It's, it's, it's so near, you know, and he wants us to be chasing after him. I, I just love it. So I, I hope this can keep you up. I don't know what you're battling with. I don't know what you're going through, but listen to me. We all have issues, yeah? And God is the only one who knows deep within us what we really are fighting with. You can't keep up the face every time. I, I'm, I'm tired of keeping up the face. So now I tell people I'm, I'm tired, you know. Sometimes it's, it's okay to own up. Tell them, tell God your feelings. And he will see you through. So I hope today, uh, today is day, seven, day 11. Okay, so I'll, I'll come back again with another vlog and, and chit chat. Whatever you think on your mind, whatever questions you want to, you, you want to ask, Please ask them below and I'll try and answer them as much as I can. If I need support from other people to I get them on board and, and then we, we get this going. So I hope you're blessed. I can't wait to do it again. Uh, let me know what you think and we're going to be doing it again and again and again. So God bless you. Um, as usual, tell somebody to tell somebody that we started a new thing called a vlog and we will keep discussing. I think I can talk about my experience with other things those things you want us to talk about so just make sure that you are following christ he is the author look unto jesus the author and finisher of your faith and at the end of the day all the glory goes back to him so is that okay we we'll tell people about it tell jesus
tell somebody about Jesus. All right, God bless you. Bye.